And I didn't get it. I was like, what? So I thought about it and read some more. And I went, oh, what he's saying is, when this battle is over for him, that army suit comes off. So he doesn't own it. He doesn't walk around playing on the court and just going, oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> he's saying, I have a chance of a lifetime to do what I want to do. And it may be to read books to children. It may be to create a garden or to have a family or to strut your stuff on stage. But that perspective is motivating and it lights a fire. And when you're dead tired, sister, for your 50,000th double session cardio on negative zero carbs, which is an exaggeration, I like to do that. It's an army suit. Because when it's over and you step out of that army suit, what you got is you. Your character that has been in there waiting for you because you kept every promise to yourself. You were true to who you are and what was valuable to you in this moment, in this moment of your life. Because all we have is right now. One of the other habits that needs to be developed is staying present in the moment. And I said this on a little flyer. Letting go of what's behind you. Taking your focus and your attention off of what was whether they were mistakes or that they were some triumphant things or whatever, because it's gone, it's done, it's over, unless you bring it forward by thinking about it. So let's say we had um, a bad prep. And then we're constantly thinking about, well, I'm scared that I'm gonna mess it up, or I'm scared that it's not gonna work, or I'm scared, or I had a bad marriage and I'm scared. All we're doing is bring it forward so that we can create it all over again. Because our physical bodies cannot create anything unless it's first thought of here, right? If you're gonna kick a ball, you don't kick a ball unless you think about it first. It's just, it's the laws of physics. So, in order to create who we are, or who we want to become, we have to think about it first. And that starts by letting go of the past, which means when those thoughts come up of what happened in the past, you go, bring your attention to right here. Right here, I'm staring in your eyes. That's all that matters, is right here and right now. And the future, honestly, hasn't happened yet. So goal setting is really important. But goal setting is still in this moment. Just because the show isn't for three months, or the wedding isn't for here, or whatever the college is until there, in this moment, it's here, right now, because it's real. The goal is here. I'm on stage, because I can see it. It's here. Stay present in the moment. So anytime fear comes up, you know you're not in the moment. Because fear can only come up about the future. You go, fear doesn't exist. It just doesn't exist. I have one of my favorite pictures on my wall is there's a dragon, and then there's this per or I think it's a bird in front of the dragon, and he's like this. He's scared, right? Because that was me. And then behind the dragon is this tiny little bird, like this big. And he's got one of those um, tire pumps, like air pumps. You know what I'm talking about? Those old school ones, right? And he's back there, and he's pumping it up. Because the dragon is actually fake. It's just full of air. Does that make sense? Yeah. And when I saw the picture, I was like, oh, I still have to have that because that's my head right there. All I see is the dragon. And the dragon is so real for me because that's what I think about and that's what I focus on. But if I take a step back and look at the picture, really, there's just a tiny little bird blowing air in there. And once you step through whatever it is that you're wanting to walk through, you see that. Even if... Even if it doesn't turn out the way you want, the fear dissipates. Because the fear is just about doing, even though we think it's about failing or not being enough or whatever it is. It goes away. So we can try again. We build more confidence. We can try again. We can try again. We can try again. And we can cry, guys, when it doesn't work out. <laughs> There's not one time that I have not stepped off stage when it didn't work out the way I wanted to that I did not cry. Because I have to allow myself to be human. Because I'm a machine in the gym. I can take that. And I can eat whatever. I'll eat your fingers if I need to. <laughs> okay. I, I, I've trained myself to be that way. But then I have to balance myself out and allow myself to be really human. So um, I cry. It doesn't mean that, that everything matters, like, like winning matters. No. But let's be honest. You wouldn't do what you do unless you wanted to win. You wouldn't be a competitor. Come on. We all want to win. That's just life in general. We want to win it at our businesses. We want to win at our marriages. It's just the way it is. So let's just go with that being unsaid, okay? We know that now. So just allow yourself to be. And when we fail, take that. Take a step back 
I take the attention off of why do I suck to why was this gifted to me? Why was this brought to me so that I can see how great I am? No matter what happens outside myself. What can I learn from this and how can I grow from it? I have made, guys, more mistakes than you could possibly imagine. And I mean from the smallest things to some really deep, heavy stuff. And you go, what did I learn from that? You know, I won't do that again. Um, I'm learning what I made of. I've learned how to forgive. And one of the things that I do know for sure, I don't know a lot for sure, but there's a couple things. <laughs> the most important thing that you can learn how to do is to forgive yourself. People throw that around a lot. But until you can learn how to forgive yourself, you will never be able to forgive anybody else. And when we cannot forgive, we block ourselves from everything that we want. It's a very, very heavy energy. You can't see past it. Unforgiveness also um, makes us very brittle, and it makes us uh, like shut down. Because unforgiveness reminds us of pain, right? That like something hurt. There's a visualization. Did I share that with you? I don't know. I gotta share it really fast, you guys, because stuff's just coming in. If there, and there's always somebody. I have so much. There's so many, okay. There's a visualization. Imagine that you're standing in a field. This is unforgiveness. 